Thank you, Ms. Chair, uh, Madam Vice President Georgieva. We support in general the report done by the Rapporteur Fernandes on the guidelines on Budget 2016. The priorities are correctly presented as they have been discussed within the Budget Committee. Launching the guidelines for the preparation of Budget 2016, we should have in mind two things. Firstly, the EU member state economies are already in the, in the eighth year of fiscal consolidation with visible lack of resource to bridge the gap of missing investments. Secondly, 2016 will serve as a benchmark mark of post-electoral multi-annual financial framework revisions. The main directions alongside which the budget should be developed are creation of favorable conditions for economic growth and increase of employment. That leads to economic, social and territorial cohesion without any member state left aside. In this respect, special emphasis should be put on policies toward growth, competitiveness and employment, with a particular highlight on the role of small and medium enterprises and mid-cap companies, and on ensuring the proper distribution of European funds. In 2016, the new investment plan proposed by the Commission, aiming at mobilizing 315 billion euros to stimulate public and private capital investment in Europe, shall also be fully operating. While it is expected that the EU budget will fund the biggest part of the guarantee to this European Fund for strategic investments, I would like to stress on that this EU contribution must not be made at the expense of existing EU, EU multi-annual programmes. Last but not least, Budget 2016 has to be provided with a sufficient level of payment appropriations so to bring real results to the European citizens to enable the budget to match EU political priorities and to allow the Commission to meet its legal obligations. The ALDE group insists on the conclusion of a structural plan for payments before the presentation of the Commission of its draft budget 2016, as jointly agreed among the Parliament Council and the Commission during the negotiations on budget 2015. Thank you.